Hello everyone, I am Tessellating Hexagons, back with another slice of the pie that is freshly picked Tingle's Rosy Rupee Lad, with twice the height of a pyramid, and I guess on a technicality the tower is the height of a hot air balloon, it's not, it's not the size of a hot air balloon, because that is not a thousand meters big, it's just up in the air, but whatever, it's not my place to criticize. What do you know, amphibie, and assorted other poetry shenanigans. So in this episode, there's a couple of things we have to do. First of all, I would rather like to stock up on minced meat, but I mean, I don't know if I can necessarily get that much. Really? You dropped nothing. I requested meat, you gave me nothing but rupees. Are we just having a national meat crisis or something? Which, okay, there's an episode title if ever I've heard one. I'm just saying, I would like some minced meat, so I can make some more tinglies. Not tinglines, because we need skulls for that, and I sort of can't be bothered paying the full price for that, so... I don't think I have anything to sell to these people, but, I mean, it doesn't hurt to check. Uh, you only buy ingredients, and you underpay severely for each one, and you could probably buy my tingly, but no, I need that. Because, yeah, I'm too cheap to bother... Oh, yes, there's you! We have scratch cards, we may as well! Try our hand at a scratch card, so... You scratch them open? Okay, we got one. Uh... Ah. We got one, and that's worth ten rupees. Sure, it's money. Uh, that's another one, that is also money. And one further one. Double triangle, that's five... <laughs> that's a bit of a step up! Well, where were the others then? Oh, the other one was there. Boo, hiss, and sad. Well, there you go. That's how that works. And we can also sell some jewels we picked up recently. That's a lot of money for a gold gem. I'm glad I went back for it because I was a fool to have forgotten about it. The ruby is worth even more. The ruby in the smonk. And then... Oh, right, yeah, I was gonna say, wait, three amethysts. I thought these were pink quartzes or whatever the game calls them because we had to pay the price of three pink stones for whatever it was we bought from the explorer person's friend and I thought, oh, oh, okay, 350 times three is nearly a thousand. Yeah, it's just over a thousand. Well, whatever. And marine, why is the marine gem only 80? I object to this. Anyway, the, the main reason why we're here is so that we can get Chico's mother to repair the fingers. Excuse me? Excuse me? Really? More of this? Shut it! What did you say? Is that any way to talk to your father? Ah, rage! That tomboy! She's not got a lot of power in her punches. Next time, we'll do some hard training. Okay, you, uh, you just, you just do that then. And once again, we could buy the next recipe from him, and I'm still not going to do it. And also, we have a lot of soft eggs, which is good, but again, nothing worth selling. See, I, I may as well check since we're here, since we have business. Oh, you buy bomb fruits for some ungodly reason. You can't buy any of my tools. Okay. Right, Chico, you, Chico's mother, rather. You're the main reason we're here. Take this worn-out rag and do something magical to it. What is this dirty worn-out rag? It looks a little like an item of clothing. But who would wear this fashion disaster? The fact that you brought this to me means you want me to fix it, right? Let's discuss my fee for repairing it. <laughs> sure. Also, can we sell you stuff? Oh, noth again, nothing of particular value. But, oh, apart from the coral, which are worth 3,000. Which reminds me, we need to drop by the steamy marsh and hand over the double sticker thing. Anyway. Uh, yeah, repair the hood. Now. Give me any old rag and in a flash, I will turn it into your Sunday best. So what will you pay? What will I pay? One se we'll use the coral to pay for this. One seven fifty. Do your best, Madam Chico the senior -er. Well, I called her old to her face and she's still fine with repairing the rag, so clearly she is a woman of... eggs. Well, you've paid your money. I'll get started on the sewing machine. That was clearly the correct way to enunciate that little. Okay. I glance away from the screen for half a second, and that's what I come back to. Madam, you are terrifying. There, I did it. 
pretty good, right? Even if I do say so myself. And with that, we got the hood. And there's nothing else you have to do for us. You there, map lady. Give us some stuff, because we finished Steamy Marsh. We don't really have any reason to come back here, so we'll get some mad money for this. And we've got most, but not all, of Gooey Swamp. So we'll get some money for that, but we get to keep the map because it's not complete. We're a Steamy Marsh, we can sell the map back to her and just... At this point, it wouldn't surprise me if by the time we've done everything I want to do this episode, we can afford to just skip Gooey Swamp. And I say that, we've done a lot of stuff there, but quite obviously there is still a, a dungeon there, and if we do that dungeon, we'll get more money. But if we go into that dungeon with enough money to skip it, then imagine how much money we'll come out of the dungeon with, because, as I said, we need a total of 54,000 rupees to throw into the tower to get to the next area, and we are nearly there already. So... And at this point, it is revealed to me that I've missed an important piece of the map, except... No, I'm fairly sure it's set on screen, map complete, so... Yep, we can just afford to go to the next area. I'm not going to, because we do have a dungeon to do, and... Other... Why is the Bell Bell Flower worth so much? Yes, Gooey Swamp, large area. And I think we're only missing one thing, and it's over on the right. You see where the, the skull is that represents the pirate dock? I believe there's something on the island in the middle, I think? I could be mistaken. There's a lot that I don't remember about Gooey Swamp, especially the dungeon. I remember the dungeon is ever so slightly arse, and we will be heading there in this episode, but it's not a spectacularly fun time. Also, yeah, th we're, we're getting so much more money than I was expecting, which is good because, as I said, the dungeon is absolute arse. But, I... What happens if we do skip it? Can we go to the next dungeon after this and then come back later? It's not a good idea because we want to go into that dungeon with as much money as possible and then come out with a... I completely garbled my words there. I'm sorry, I'm trying to commentate over just a long slew of getting money for things. Money for old map. It's like a rope, but it's a map. And we've still got more money yet to get in this episode too. Like, this is slightly bananas. Uh, the fr I, I could swear the Frill Flower keeps changing names, and I'm not going to buy any more maps because we have so much money I have no intention of using it, and Abba, how are you doing, and how are my Tingle Birds doing more importantly? Oh, I do as argue, like father, like daughter, 120 rupees. These birds are really putting the boot in because that's an expression that I believe exists. <sighs> I really want to get more minced meat though, and I'm sad that we do not have more minced meat at our disposal. So I, I could off-screen go and grab, like, more minced meat and just mid-thought there. Why do we have so few oranges? Like, we have... Well, I, I'm sort of a bit behind on watching previous episodes. But, like, we have... A, or certainly had... A load of tomatoes and almost no oranges. What happened to all of the oranges? Why are we missing so many? Like, why do I have to go and get more in that episode where I went back and got more? And I, I got lucky just then, with the whole getting two pigs in one cloud. And I would get more enemies in here, but I want to get as much meat as possible. Like, I'm not going to grind forever here, because this would get very tedious very quickly. But just, I want to have some tinglies, because we should be using tinglini at the moment, and I'm just so cheap that I can't be bothered getting skulls. But actually, what we're seeing here is a surprisingly effective way of grinding meat. We are the meat grinder. So, um... I could cut ahead and like just grind for a, a few years, but I'll I'll make this my last meat trip and get no meat in the process. No meat in the process. Ah, <laughs> oh, this game loves me. Well, anyway, as promised, I'm gonna cook up some tingly and then we'll head back out to our various places. I I should drop back in the Deku Forest at some point just to pick up uh, what remains of. Like, we have another forest vitamin to grab, and... Well, let's just double check the rest of Tingly, because I don't... Uh, Tinglene, rather. Oh, you need mint speed for that as well. Well, whatever. We, we have, like, three skulls. It Maybe four. I don't care. We, we, we can... We, we can make some more Tingly. We can have four Tinglys. In the grand scheme of things, if everything does go tits up in the next dungeon, we can just bribe... What's his name? Ernesto? We, we can bribe our bodyguard to not be dead. That's a thing you can do. So, it's just cheaper to ply him with potions. So, I would like more meat than I have. 
I just realized I really should just check in with our rupee goods, and I just didn't, so... Ugh. And since we're here, you know, since we have a massive windfall of rupees at our disposal, may as well make a little routine offering of 300, because we can afford to, and it bumps up to a total of 500. So... That won't be enough. Yes, I'm aware of this, Uncle Ruby. So that means we only need 53 and a half thousand now. This is how I used to play the game, but only because I didn't really know how best to approach that getting to next. I wouldn't know what the prize, the, the, the price of the next area was, so I'd just keep throwing money in until something happened. Anyway, we return to the Meaty Smash for two reasons. First of all, I want to check in with Dr. Left, Dr. Bean, Dr. How, as opposed to who. That just reminds me of a... I think it was in the city of York many years ago. I remember seeing a sign for a stage show called Dr. Watt and the Attack of the Garlics. Ha ha. I think it might have involved the Chuckle Brothers, and now one of them's dead. Is this what it feels like to be a grown-up? Anyway, we must return to the bottle, which can never truly be empty as long as Dr. Bean lives inside. I don't remember your voice, and I don't want to do it again because it completely killed my esophagus. But yes, we, we have the two. What's my prize for the twin star shenanigans? Yeah, are you going to give us a book? A jo Oh, he actually is talking- uh, Philistine, go and eat an egg. Ah, oh, Topaz does exist in this game, and a ruby. Those sell for a lot, and those- That's a lot of money. Wow. Okay. Maybe I should have done this first. Well, I'm not going to have done this first, because we, we... You saw the order I did things in this episode. Everything is detached. Anyway, yes, yes, Dr. Bean, we're leaving. Is there anywhere I can get meat here? I can get rib steak, and we will need that for meat soup eventually. But... Uh, I'm tempted. Okay, bear with, I'm gonna go and grab some rib steak since we're in the area. And we're back. That was a bit of a... This sort of become my latest catchphrase and I don't like it, but that 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 was a bit of a fufty shenanigans. Anyway, let's head into the bee dome. We were told to look for an energetic bee, and would you look at that, the queen's an energetic bee. Look, the queen has made an extraordinary recovery. Oh, here she comes. Here comes the, 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 the chunk of good fortune. Oh, lord, she coming. No heard for some bees who went to Gooey Swamp that you needed help. I'll climb onto my back, and I will fly you to where you need. Those are the Queen's words. Wow, I'm very envious. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. However, you cannot fly for free. Those are the Queen's words. We will negotiate in Busby's. That, that sounds like a restaurant. Well, anyway, have a nice solid five hundo, because you be cheap. Busbies, buzz. And with that, take care. We get to ride. Tingle, when she said ride, that is not what she meant at all. Buzz, 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 buzz. And then we just get shaken asunder. That wasn't quite jumping from the height of an energetic bee, but anyway, we stand on that. That thing drops down. We can get up here. And that is the next dungeon, but we're not quite ready for that yet. So. First of all, we've not actually been to the bodyguard cell here, and also, since we're here, since there's materials, souls, souls to be had. Just grab a couple of soft eggs, my dude! Wow, slightly channeling a certain spoiler character from Steven Universe, because oh my god, that was recent, and ah! Ah, so good! Well, anyway, give me one more egg and I'll leave you alone. One more egg, thank you. Nice though you're good and obedient there, game. So yes, we'll head into the bodyguard salon. Don't worry, Mr. Drummer Boy. What? Mr. Drummer Boy. I'm not going to replace you anytime soon. Soon. Bombs? <laughs> yeah, we already know about that. We, I think that's the game's way of saying, Hey, idiot, don't forget that you need bombs. Bomboleo. Ah, a sentient barrel, my favorite. 
He say? You, what, what did we do? Okay, I'm playing dumb. This guy wants the, uh, the robe that we found on that mushroom, and he won't accept it if you give it back to him without repairing it. So, we sort of cut out the middleman there by finding the robe, repairing it, and now returning it to its owner. So yes, you're entirely welcome. So... You, you see, you say that, I think you were just afra afraid of people seeing your Salona penis. Well, that and also your Twilight Vampires, except instead of dust, it's glitter. Except to, instead of glitter, it's dust. So the Salona may well be the Subrosians, and that's why you die. And yet you have window- you have a window on your ceiling. Like, that's- you might be on the other side of glass, but that's still direct sunlight. Anyway, we get money for this. And despite the fact that we had to- seconds loaner, excuse you. Despite the fact that we had to give, like, what, 1,200, or was it- was that much or was it 12,000? We had to buy a recipe from them for a, a shit ton of money ages ago. Different Salona, but still, we, we had to pay four figures, and this guy also pays four figures. I'm referring to the recipe from Cape Treasure. That was expensive, this is also expensive. We're up to 70,000! Excuse me, we can just skip the next dungeon? Like, I know I keep saying that, I don't intend to, but we hypothetically can. So, you're welcome. I've cured your nakedness. Now, if you happen to come here first, he'll tell you he's lost his robe, and you talk to this guy, and you can... You can talk to him, and I believe you have to pay him... 1,000 rupees? And he'll tell you exactly where the robe is, but we've already done that. So, that's not an issue. And there are some friends. Don't worry, you're not being replaced. You there. You've heard of us! We're terrible, but you've heard of us. We're the worst pirate but that you've heard of, but you haven't- uh, That's the reference I'm making here. And we know about- We know about drifters, and... Funnily enough, at 70,000, we could afford to open the next area and hire Yamori if we ran into him again. Anyway. So we've, we've finished our business here. And what, what do I want to do now? Because the thing is... We've got our money from that. I kind of really want to... Uh, I need to take a moment to think here, because we could open the next dungeon. We could even get started on the next dungeon. Palmy wants to go back to town and... Yeah, you know what. We'll start on the dungeon in the next episode, but first, head back home. Make meat soup, because we can. That was just something I did completely on a whim, but it ended up working out in our favor. We could expand the tower. I, I keep saying that. I don't intend to. But I'm just so, like, it it blows my mind that that is a thing we are able to do at the moment. But I, I, I can't risk skipping a dungeon because there's money to be had and it's, the next dungeon is an absolute anal cavity in more ways than one. Please do be worried about me saying that. But yes, meat soup. Don't burn the rib steak, they're so time consuming and annoying to get and everything's bumping weirdly and the, the soup's boiling and also... A thought that I had in watching previous episodes back. You would have thought that getting a larger pot would be detrimental to the recipes that we're making because, you know, we had a smaller pot that could only hold five ingredients and we filled it with water and then boiled the ingredients in it. But now we have a larger pot that's literally, well, three times the capacity, not necessarily three times the size, but we're putting, we're still filling it with water. So surely my recipes are going to be more watered down now. No? Maybe? Anyway, Jeweler Guy, we got a load of gems from Dr. No, so please, pay me entirely too much. We, we are... we're doing unfairly well for ourselves, and I... we're nearly at 80,000. Like, how much money have we got in this episode overall? Well, anyway, we were able to make meat soup! As it happens, my dude, yes. Choke that down your gullet. Did you really make this your soup? Did you really make this your soup? You're quite the gourmet! This beats my soup! If you keep making it, I'll keep buying it! I'm a pro chef, remember? I do a few more recipes, more difficult ones! If you want to try them, I'll sell them to you for a price! A primes? Remember, there are lots of recipes out there still to be found! Okay, now that we're stupidly wealthy. Oh god, you are selling multiple soups here. I was not prepared for this at all. I've... In that moment, I've completely forgotten how much he charges for these. Well, whatever. We'll come back and talk to you later.
that's how much... I, I, I'll give a middle finger to your expensivenesses. Right. I will uh, meet you back at the gooey swamp, then. I tell a lie, I'm meeting you here at the tower. Two things. First of all, I'm going to throw in another 500 just to bring the tower up to a nice thousand. So we only need 53,000, which we could easily afford. But after the next dungeon, we're able to afford it even more easily. That won't be enough. Yes, we know. And second thing, I picked up another single scrap of moss. And, like, it literally respawned just off screen. Like, I heard the of it appearing. So we could, like, we, we've got one more piece of moss. I think I've wasted enough time in this episode. Let's head into the dungeon. It's awful. It's sadness. I say that I actually don't remember very much about it at all. I just remember there being a couple of rooms of suffering. And it's just generally not a fun time. But we can just climb straight up. We've already opened the way in. Well, I say we've opened the way in, but uh, this is Tingle's Rosy Rupee Land. It's never that straightforward. Grr. Only those who pay may pass. This is a premium dungeon, don't you know? Rupees! Rupees! Three fucking thousand, as it happens. This is why I wanted to hold on to my money, amongst other reasons, but yes. With that being paid, we can enter the insect cavern, which we will do in earnest in the next episode. So, I have been and will continue to be tessellating hexagons, and in the next episode, there's gonna be bugs. This whole place really feels like an alien planet. Like, even more so than outside. So, in the next one, we'll head through here. We'll head... I, I swear there's a ladder here somewhere. Or... Okay, corridor, that'll do. Well, see you in the next episode where we head down here.